Hi, welcome to Karen and Johnny Do It Raw. Again. Again, and again, and again, and again. We're having so much doing fun doing this for you guys. <laughs> doing it, I almost said. Yeah, doing we're in it, a colonic I room. I swear we're not doing it. <laughs> yeah, we're in a colonic room with the door shut. I didn't need to know the door was shut, but well. anyway. So we're here to talk about the other end. You know, we talk so much about food going in this way. Well, we're here to talk about coming out the other way because it's more important. What goes in must come out. If it doesn't, where'd it go and what's it doing to you? And it's a question that everybody keeps asking. I mean, I get it all the time. Where, where, what is a colonic? How and even if you don't done? have the question, you should know about it so you do have the question because 99% of the people aren't doing colonics and most people are walking around well, with 6 to 30 pounds of crap in them. Seriously. Yeah, no, absolutely. And when I first got into this, I, my first fast I ever did, my first extended fast, a 21 day, yeah. Karen's like, you need to do a colonic. Come to me, do a colonic. And I was like, no, nah, you know, people are kind of shy and bashful. And when you say come to me, it's like me, I don't do the colonics. I wasn't invited. She did it personally. No, I didn't. He's lying. Yeah, I she's swear. like, bend over. <laughs> no. But, but so I was kind of scared and kind of like, well, I don't, I don't have nothing going near there. But the reality is like, it's really important because basically all disease starts, starts there. in the colon. This is like, this is almost like a, a whole brain and body right here. And this is where we carry all of our toxicity and if we're juice fasting I mean you told me this if we're juice fasting and we're not eliminating that it's gonna recirculate and releasing the poisons and back into the body yeah so so and, and here's the deal if you're having problems getting over your cravings it's because you haven't gotten the old stuff out because the old stuff is saying come here exactly. I want more I want more so you get the colon cleaned out so I learned all of this from dr. Ann Wigmore who started our whole raw movement that we're doing and she used to have us, we would go to Optimal Health Institute and we would do our cleanses with her. I'm talking 30 years ago, 34 years ago. And she definitely said we should never do a strong cleanse without doing colonics or enemas. We actually did enemas. We had these great little buckets. I call them buckets of fun. We have them here at Karen's. We do them with our detoxes. We do them here and they're called buckets of fun by me. Do you want to, do you want to quickly say the difference between an enema and a colonic? What's well, like the biggest difference? Well, the basically? biggest difference is we use this machine and we use gallons and gallons and gallons of and it's water. it's like water pressure basically. And when you say water pressure, that sounds kind of scary. Well, it's is not that, bad. I mean, I yeah. remember when I, you know, when I get it, I feel, you can kind of feel it going in, whereas the enema, you don't really, you just... Right, because it's gravity. It's the gravity method. One is, and there are gravity colonics too, where they use the big upside down water bottle, so it isn't like the right. hydrosol machine. And then there's the Libby, where you do it yourself. There's so many forms of cleaning your colon out. We just hope we're going to inspire you to want to do it with our conversation today. Right. Yeah. So hold this up. You know, this is what we like. I'm going to get this so I could zoom in on it. And if you want to do like a little, we like to think our colons look like this, right? But in reality, this is not the way most of your colons look anymore. They look like these over here. Okay. Yeah, I actually got a colonic done in Arlington Heights by my house. And sa same thing. Um, and, I, and I've seen it on videos on YouTube. People that nobody's colon looks the way a normal colon is supposed to look. Because our diet is just so messed up. And we're so but, backed up. And But you want to know something? I think mine is close after all these years of, <laughs> of doing it. Of course. No, no, seriously. Because you see, the lips are related to the colon. Like if you're walking around with chapped lips all the time, sometimes that could mean that you have a low-grade infection in your intestines. So one morning I woke up with these bright pink lips. I was so excited, and to, and I thought I still had lipstick on, but I realized my lips, my col my lips, my colon was getting cleaner and cleaner. And you can actually see the different diseases that are related to the different parts of the colon that are impacted. Right. So we're just strongly urging you to look into this, really, if you're on a journey of healing and cleansing. Got to clean this the pipes. That's a big part of it. Got to clean the pipes. So you can do colonics, or you can do the Libby. It's another machine. There are several machines out there. I, I've been using the Hydrosan uh, machine for like 35 years or more, this machine I've had. And I really love the company. and, and we have total controls. There's no way to make a mistake or have an accident. You can see everything going. Anyway, back ever to since the ever since I got my first colonic, I like I said I was very scared and nervous. I know a lot of people out there that are on this journey are like, uh, especially guys, especially guys, yeah. especially guys. You know, you don't want nothing going near your butt. But after getting it done, I'm like, I'm not going to say an enema fanatic, but I when I especially when I'm fasting, I try to do them every other day different types of enemas, but go ahead. Yeah, well, the whole thing is, when you say it scares the guys, but 
Think of the different sizes of your poop coming out sometimes, and the speculum is no bigger than that. It's like oh, especially look at the one on the the enema. Right, it's, it's just it's a tiny. Hose. It's like a fish hose. I don't use that thing. I just well, you're supposed to. I've got to teach you how to use this. This is the. She's gonna teach me. <laughs> This is this is this is what we do the implants with. So I don't believe you should ever do a colonic or an enema without an implant. We use chlorophyll, wheatgrass. What I learned from Dr. Wigmore. There's all kinds of things out there. There are people doing like you try the the uh, coffee enemas. Coffee or, enemas, yeah, they do that. Or vitamin C. I'm not recommending that, but a lot of people have been very comfortable. Gerson, with it. the Gerson Institute, yeah, they use that to help detoxify the liver. Um, vitamin C. Yeah, vitamin C powder. Lemon water. But I'm, I'm a big believer water. in using chlorophyll because actually the chlorophyll gets in there and acts like a little Pac-Man and eats away all, it starts to heal the liver and it eats away a lot of I already things. went through a bottle in the last month of chlorophyll. Okay. I mean, you're supposed to do three tablespoons with like uh, 32 ounces of water. No, no, we do uh, two to four ounces. Oh, wow. Yeah, we've well, got to have some more learning here. Well, I mean, that's what I learned online. That's what I read online. So. Well, you didn't come and ask me. And, you know, I've been doing it for 40-something years. I would ask me personally. No, I'm just joking. There's lots of good information out yeah. there. But anyway, what I love about the Hydrosound, too, is I call it Poop TB. Because you can actually see Yeah, you see all out. the crap coming Turn out. The on. All the parasites yeah. and... And the yeast. Hold on, let me, let me zoom in on this, too. Yeah. And the mucoid plaque, right? Right. Because mm -hmm. when I did my 21 day, actually, so yeah, this is basically where it all comes, this poop comes TV. through. Yep, poop TV. When I, when I did my uh, 21 day, I remember I came here and there was a lot of crap. And I had already been six months raw. Six months raw. And I had a lot of crap on day 18, I think it was, for my... Uh, I, have, I have fasted for like very long periods of time and on the 17th, 18th day and I've been doing this at that time I've been doing it for about 30 years I still got some old stuff out of my body so crazy it's, it's amazing what we're walking around with and, and there will and be you, people that say you shouldn't do this and you know it's something that you have to research and learn and feel comfortable with they say it's not natural but but the way we live isn't natural we're living in a very bizarre foods we're not but you know they've been around since Egyptian times they used to use gourds and reeds to do them so they've been around forever wow so I believe in them. Uh, Johnny is a believer in them. I'm a big believer in them now. I always put people on to them. People that I coach, friends of mine. Uh, my mom's huge into it. So girlfriends. I mean, uh, girlfriends <laughs> are kind of weird about it because you know they're normally younger, so they're like, what? Yeah. But I mean, once you get into it, it just makes sense. You know, it's like yeah. a car. It's like how like how old am I? I'm thirty. I'm thirty six. So thirty six year old pipes. You know, stuff. You know, Perhaps accumulates, 71. right, and stuff accumulates around your pipes, and you want to make sure those pipes are clean, because if it builds up, backs up, your lymphatic system is not going to drain, all your organs are going to be backed up, and, and, you're actually, and then the symptoms are going to come out, right? And you're sending out poisons to your body. I mean, you're literally, you're so where walking around. the acne around. comes, and all the right. rashes. I think that's what they came with, people are full of shit. <laughs> yeah. Literally. Yeah. Like when I'm on the expressway or something, and somebody flicks me off, and they're pissed off, or whatever, I go... You need a colonic. You know? <laughs> that person was I being like a that. jerk or not. You need a colonic, you know? It yeah. could work very well. So, you know what? We're just saying you need to investigate it, whether you've ever done it or not. And, um, and if you don't buy them from you, you can go on Amazon. The en enema buckets in here. I'll show it real quick. It's like I call them buckets of fun. Buckets of fun, yeah. They, they are kind of buckets of fun because you clean yourself out. Your skin, your eye, the whites in your eyes, everything. I mean, immediately, energy. Um, because you're emptying a lot and when I did actually my uh, 30 day recently I was doing them after you told me you know do them at one at, well you said one after another one after another and I did up to four to the point where oh, I was four waiting buckets. until oh yeah that's yeah. what I teach and I was waiting until um, it was just clear because I mean you're still passing stuff and you're like Whoa. you see the thing that happens is you have gas bubbles in your tent and it stops the poop so I've had people say well I had five colonics and now I'm clean no you just hit a pocket where there's gas and you need to get past that right and that's the beauty that happened with me at one of my colonics I did as a, as a matter of fact you know what else I do what I've been doing is when I do an enema it's like 32 ounces of water and then uh, you know it's recommended like lay on your side or whatever I do a handstand well, you see, I, I do teach a to do the handstand with the implant that we do at the end. But you know what? Come take one of my classes. I will teach specifically how what I learned from Dr. Wigmore how to use them. There's tons of stuff on the internet, and certainly go research it, and you know, make your body your own laboratory and see what works for you. But we do have a specific way that I've been teaching for like about 40 years how to do it. So. But game changer, right? Cleaning the colon um, is extremely important. Remember, what goes in must come out. If it didn't. 
where did it go, and what's it doing to you? You know what my great grandma used to say all the time, I love it, when uh, she barked, and she go, more room out than in. You gotta keep that your mouth, more room out than in. Yeah, so, and, and you know, everybody that's walking around with extra weight on them, that's basically... Oh, yeah, people go, if you have a tummy, you're full it's of, fecal matter, it's yeah. fecal matter, it, it's not just fat. It's Elvis fecal. Presley, John Wayne. Uh, Howard Lyman wrote in his book that when they did an autopsy on uh, John Wayne, he had 75 pounds of fecal matter in him. So 75 know. pounds? Yeah. And what was his diet? What would he die like heart condition? I don't well, you know. you think of all that pressure building up and on all your what, organs and pushing up. Way. Exactly. Yeah. So anyway, thanks for joining us today. And yeah. if you have questions about this, uh, I got some classes coming up. Johnny does some coaching. I do coaching. We're here for you. We just want, you know what, send us your questions and complaints and what you'd like to know more about. Uh, we got two different perspectives. You got the 35 year old kid and you got the 75 year old kid. <laughs> yeah, I'm still learning. I mean, I, like I said, I just, when I, I was already vegan for a couple of years and then I went raw and she got me into these and I'm so She's grateful. That's... <laughs> well, she did, but I'm so grateful because like I had bad detox symptoms my first few times fasting it and will, now. It will help relieve the symptoms. Totally. Headaches, everything. I mean, it, it, immediately because you're releasing all that pressure, all that crap that's been built up for, right. I mean, years, you know, right. so especially all the fried foods, processed foods, all the mucus forming foods that just build up and ferment, right? And that's why you stink. Too. That's why we stink. That's why your poop stinks. Oh, I mean, poop stinks anyway. But. No, it doesn't. Not, your poop still stinks. My poop doesn't well, stink. Well, it doesn't stink like... Well, you, you want to know something? My poop does not smell. Was it some, like roses? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I, I, I swear by them, though. I mean, I just think it's really important, especially during juice fasts. And, right. But... Uh, so hopefully you will continue to join us and you will continue to send us your comments. We really enjoy Comment them. below. Let us know Comment more. Below. Let us know more. Karen and Johnny, do it raw. Bye. Till next time.